The summer learning program at the library is winding down, but there are still plenty of fun educational events left. Here to share more is Stephanie Smith and Mara Honey. Welcome morning, ladies. Good Thank morning. you for joining us. So sadly, the summer learning program does have to come to an end, yes. but you still have more planned. We do. So we have lots of activities right up until the last day, July 31st. But we are closing out the last weekend of summer learning in grand fashion with a concert, two concerts actually, on the plaza. And that is with? Jim Gill. Kids and parents both love Jim Gill, which is quite an achievement. It's, <laughs> it's true. Um, Jim Gill really focuses on music play that engages children in dancing and parents in dancing. It's going to be a wonderful time to just come out and create some really fantastic memories together. So you mentioned already it's two separate events. Can you explain mm -hmm. the difference between the two? Sure. So on Saturday the 27th, we have two outdoor concerts with Jim, one in the morning, one in the evening. Um, actually, it's Friday evening. That's Sorry, you caught me. Yep, so it's Friday. Um, and then the next day on Saturday, we have a workshop for educators so they can also learn how to incorporate music and dance into the learning in the classroom. So for somebody that's not familiar with Jim Gill, mm -hmm. like myself, uh, what do they need to know about him and why is he somebody that you should come check out? So Jim is a renowned children's musician. He plays music that really um, motivates people to just get up and have a great time together. So it'll be an opportunity to bring a blanket, you know, have a picnic, but all of his songs have things to do. So you don't just sit back and relax. You actually get to be a part of the music. So the concerts are gonna be a really fantastic way for families to have a great time together. And then on Saturday, that workshop that he's doing is going to give educators and parents new ideas for how to use music in um, every day. And so for somebody that wants to come out, what do they need to bring? Should they bring a pen and paper on Saturday to learn things? Nope, just bring um, a blanket, your dancing shoes, and get ready to have a great time. And what do, how does this fit in with the library's mission? You know, again, learning happens in many different ways. It's part of our SPARK program, the science, play, art, reading knowledge. And so kids learn. Um, we're not above tricking kids into learning at the <laughs> library. Um, and so this is a really way for kids to learn through the music while having fun. Um, so many of those early literacy skills where adults and kids are connecting together through talking, through writing, through music, through dance, is so key to all those building blocks to learning later on. And you kind of alluded to that, but I wanted to get a little bit more in depth about the dancing and the early learning sure. skills. How is that beneficial? So music is a key component, understanding rhythm and beat and rhyme that plays in to math skills and early reading skills. And even something like following directions is a very important important part of the music that Jim Gale has. And also learning how to control your body, when to go fast, when to stop, when to go slow. So having all of those elements of play um, are really developing all of the skills that children need to be a success. Stephanie, Mara, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank we you. appreciate it. Find more information on the library's upcoming events at acpl.info or 260-421-1200.